got certified on that trip. So fun. But Pretty yeah, I, get us uh, all I was started. reading all the stuff and you guys are a little bit excited about QuickBooks Connect. Maybe I made the wrong decision in going on vacation instead. <laughs> I'm going to say yes. Where are you going on vacation? Costa Rica. Oh, well. Costa Rica will always be there. I mean, <laughs> what? Like every day yes. of the year, Costa Rica but is when, there. But when you do an ROI of four days in Vegas, the <laughs> cost versus 10 days in Costa Rica is only like 10% more. I'm like, mm, yeah, vacation. Yep. There you go. You, you <laughs> cannot begin to compare Vegas to Costa Rica. Well, I worked at an airline for nine years, so I've been to Vegas too many times. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I would go for you guys, but I'm like, mm, maybe next year. <laughs> it's not about Vegas. It's about QuickBooks Connect and the people. Yeah, you haven't been there with yeah. us. Yeah, I've exactly. but I've been to too many stag ads, birthdays. You um, can just plan for un, unstagets with fresh divorce papers. Oh yeah, lots of concerts and oh yeah, you name it. Well, but, I hope yeah. you enjoy your time in Costa Rica. We are definitely going to miss all of those who are not able to join us this year at QuickBooks Connect, which of course is our topic of the day today. Like, how do we, um, you know? How do we make the most out of this conference, of course? So everybody so, who's, before we start, here, uh, who, how many times have you been to QuickBooks Connect? Me? Um, do I get to count the virtual ones? Yes. Of course. Okay. So I've been since 2017 was my first year and I've been every year um, since 2017. So I'm not an accountant, so what's the math on that? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to add that up. And You're not an accountant. You've been to uh, several. <laughs> so that would be five, six. Actually, so I've been to, this will be my eighth one. Because I've been to two in Toronto. Woo! Hey, because I was wondering how that number got jacked up. <laughs> You're like, I Richard's like to... not an accountant, but he that didn't make sense to him. <laughs> And truly that actually like, so, you know, not going too far back. I shared inside of the unofficial QuickBooks Connect Facebook group. I shared some videos that over the years is getting started. I kind of put together and uh, Linda and I in 2018, we joined forces, went to QuickBooks Connect together. Hey, Carmen, good to see you live on Facebook there. Um, we went to connect in San Jose and um, the plan of attack was basically just run around like crazy people here one second <laughs> ingrid you can't call me when i'm on a live stream you should know better than that <laughs> so um so we went running around with a video camera basically and just interviewing as many people as we could getting to connect to people and then through that met um we met all of our canadian friends and they were so loud it was so in amazing like there was this group of people that were overpowering everybody and they were all the Canadian group together. And so we decided we should try to go. Andrew Wall uh, bet me I wouldn't do a GoFundMe to get us up there. So we did. And they helped to get us the airfare and everything else to go up to Toronto. And it was amazing. Still one of my absolute favorite conferences ever, 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 ever. Um, I, I have not been to any of the Canadian Connects. But I have been to every single QuickBooks Connect that's that's happened so far. Oh. Are we ready to get started? We think... are already started. So, you know what I like to always do first? Anybody want to share their wins? What's a, a win you've got for the week? Big, small, anything, personal business. Um, anybody have something you'd like to share real quick? I'll share one. This is from last week. I was pretty sick last week, but I have my own goal of 10,000 steps a day. And I, despite being in bed, I kept at my 10,000 steps. I marched in place watching TV in the room and I still got out for walks, but I was pretty excited with myself. That's so cool. My streak is at like 65 days or so right now. 
Congratulations. Very awesome. nice. Yeah. Susan, any more pictures on the news? <laughs> If not today, by tomorrow for sure. Right. I, 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 at least once a week I get pictures on the news, but this week my prize picture was two eagles. Um, I'll put it on Facebook when I can because it's not on my computer. It's on my phone. Oh my God. The one was coming in for a landing on top of the other one. It was beautiful. It was great. Oh, that sounds amazing. So I'm going to call out a comment from the chat. Thank you, Jane. This is some big news. So forwardly, our sponsor for <laughs> this free for all is celebrating a huge win. Last night, they won the 2023 U.S. FinTech Award for Accounting Tech of the Year. Oh, whoa, that's big. Congratulations. Big, big, big. Forwardly. Yeah, awesome. we're very excited. Our uh, CTO was in New York last night to accept it. So really excited about that. That is fantastic. As a smaller win, I hit 500 days on Duolingo of German. Ooh. Your days, yeah. You should pick me up. I'm German. We can practice. I'd love to. I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you get better. Yes. I learned English, you know. <laughs> so well, I'm, putting, I'm putting my win out here. I, I started a uh, Japanese course because uh, we are going to Japan for our 25th anniversary and I am starting to learn Japanese and don't ask me because I don't have anything down yet, but I at least attended the first class. So very I exciting. is hi. You just have to say Chris. <laughs> Domo Unless Arigato, Mr. Roboto. Yeah. That's about as far as I can go. That is well, and Domo is casual thanks. Domo Arigato is more formal thank you. I, I went to Tokyo several years ago, cleanest city I've ever been in. That's what I've heard from everybody that has been there. I'm looking to pick Megan Tarnow's brain because she lived there for four years. So I did. I, yeah. See, you just, you never know what you're going to learn about people through these things. That, that's awesome. So, well, I guess the win I'm going to say is I'm seeing a lot of different faces on here this week that are joining us that we haven't seen some of the other weeks. So thank you so much for that. Um, everybody raise your hand. If you're here, if you're going to QuickBooks connect, raise your hand. If you're in the chats on live, tell us in the chats, if you're doing it. Um, I'm, I'm excited. The countdown has officially been, well, I think it began a little while ago, but it's officially begun, you know, in my head. Um, the planning, the scheduling of this and that and here and there. So um, this whole session is all about how do we make the most out of it? So what do you say, oh. Richard? What do you think? I I think there's a lot to talk about and we should probably jump in. Let's do it. Sure. I've got a couple people that are hitting me up that want the link on Facebook. So if you want to get started, I'm going to do some housekeeping stuff and we'll get rocking. And I say the first thing is wear comfortable shoes. Oh that, my gosh, yes. That is an absolute must. I have been wearing a pair of new shoes around the house. They're dress shoes with shorts all week long so that I do not get blisters at the conference because that was my first QuickBooks Connect mistake ever was wearing brand new shoes every single day of a conference and different pairs so are they leather shoes they are leather shoes i used to figure skate and the trick we would do is um soak a pair of thin socks in hot water and then put your shoes on with those if you've got tight spots and the moisture will help stretch the leather and just keep them on for a while until everything's dry it's a great tip thank you karen yeah. so let's let's talk about preparing your phone for just a minute. It's something not a lot of people talk about. So one of my favorite, one of my favorite tips is to preload some apps. So for those of you staying at the Aria, definitely download the MGM Rewards app. Uh, it has a virtual key for your room when you check in. It has uh, reward points, all the things. Um, and a, a few others that you should download. Uber, Lyft, Starbucks for sure, if you're wanting some coffee, because there is no coffee in the rooms at QB Connect, or at least at the Aria. 
They don't have coffee pots in the room. And I think last year it was $38 for a pot of coffee to be delivered in the morning. And the Starbucks line was two hours. So get the Starbucks app, pre-order your coffee, have it ready. That way you can go down, get some coffee or do what I do and stop off at Walgreens, pick up a cheap coffee maker. It's less than the $38 to uh, have coffee delivered to the room and you can have it in your room every day. Yeah, I don't know if that Starbucks lets you pre-order. One at a time. (laughs) Get coffee mentioned. Everybody's like, what? (laughs) I have to have coffee. I I am not human until I have coffee. So that's a must. That Uh, was my biggest In Vegas, they don't want you in your room because you're not spending money. But there's a company that makes a travel mug that has a French press unit in it. I have one. The thing's fantastic. So I'll find the link. You definitely need to find a link. I want to hear, I want to see that. The other thing that I, I always suggest for people who get late night cravings or late night munchies or whatever, definitely make sure that you have uh, your DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats apps on your phone and active and ready to go. Um, and also Uber and Lyft. Even though there is going to be some issues with uh, with getting around in Vegas, if you need to get around, they are still one of the best resorts. I would also look up the cab companies and download any of their apps so that you can get cabs at a moment's notice. Um, Before you go any further, this yeah. is an appropriate time since we're talking, you know, let's kind of start beginning to end, right? Yeah. We've, we've mentioned it now for two weeks, but we want to make sure everybody does know. We, we start talking about all this stuff that's going on with Formula One and the construction, everything else that it, getting rides and around is going to be somewhat difficult. So we are super fortunate that, again, our host, Fordley, uh, has teamed up with File also to now extend the rides capability, getting you from the airport to the hotels. Um, we've tried, guys. We tried going the other way as well. Companies are just nothing's available so just you know effort has absolutely been put in but getting you from the airport to the hotels make sure you register if you want to get a ride from the airport to to our hotels um and and skip the line skip all that kind of stuff of course absolutely so matthew you also added something to our list of talking points which is a qr code to your linkedin profile which it, it may have been Oh, you. Blink. Yes. Um, so uh, it's an app that I like to use called Blink, B-L-I-N-Q. And there's a couple different ones we've talked about previously. But what it basically does is you can pull up an app on your mobile device. I'm trying to do it real quick here. Um, if I was on my other computer, I'd actually just have the QR code to show you right there. And it's a way to very quickly share your contact information. Super, super quick, super, super easy. And it's usually way faster if you don't have so many gadgets and widgets on your phone. Um, so it gives you a QR code. Person basically looks at it, scans it, and it will suck uh-huh. all your information to theirs and they can share back to you also. I uh, I set mine up because Richard asked me to last week and this is what it looks like. It's really slick. You can, uh, you can update it. Nice. It's really neat. You can add your photo. You can add all the links to everything. And you can even add links to your meeting links. It's great. It's really cool. I, I love it. I will tell you what I also did is put the QR code as my wallpaper. Yeah. So See, it has your QR code right here. On right Android, here. you can also set a uh, widget. So you can actually just make the widget be live and you can switch between different contact cards. So if you're talking to one, you can actually set up multiple contact cards and then switch between them really intuitively. It's super oh. slick. Yeah. Love it. I didn't know you could do that. That's fantastic. They also give the option to make like an email signature, which is kind of cool. So you can add that on. So you were talking about making your wallpaper. I'm on a laptop right now. So my normal desktop, I like you, I had it set where I can normally just click a button and the QR code would go up into the corner. So if I'm on a meeting or a live stream like this, I could just go bink and people could grab it while we're still talking. It's, it's kind of a cool way to promote yourself if you're doing uh, live events with others. It's pretty neat. So one other quick tip that I have for wallpaper, um, I I designed my own. I put the uh, QR code on it, but I also put uh, lost phone information. I have lost my phone at a conference before. Trust me, you'll never feel like your arms are cut off more. 
uh, than when you lose your phone at a conference and everything is on it in terms of how to get where you need to be. So there's one other app, if you haven't downloaded it, it's the QB Connect app. Who's yeah. downloaded the QB Connect app already? I have. I have. Okay. So for those of you who have downloaded it, one of the things that's new this year inside the app is uh, they are not sharing contact information or who's attending unless you give permission. You have to go into your settings and say who is, who can, um, I'm sorry, that you will give permission to uh, allow other people to see that you are attending the conference. I think that's kind of cool. It's very safe. It uh, doesn't just blast your name out to the whole world. And it allows you to control what data is given out about you. So that's a really nice, nice feature that they added this year to QB Connect. Also sign up for your sessions. They'll pop up on your phone, let you know when you need to be there. Who's been already setting up their sessions or registered for them? Already. There's a lot of them that are already full also. So if you haven't, you might want to get on that sooner than later. Well, or else and you just wait in line and see if you can get in if people don't end up going. Exactly. I think a lot of people, they register for things. So two parts to this, right? Number one, don't be that person goes and registers for everything. If you're not going to actually do it, please don't be that person. Yeah. But register for the ones you want to go to. And if you aren't able to get in, still go get there a little bit early because there still will usually be space to be able to get into it, of course. Super important. So this is not a phone tip. But it is one of my favorite tips. It's know, know some conversation starters, especially if you're one of those folks that are that are um, shy or people take the energy out of you and you're not sure how to walk up to people and talk to them. How many people in the room does that is that describing? And you don't have to you don't have to raise your hand. But if you have you know, I'm that way talk with it. I like that. I love that you admitted it. Have some conversation starters at the ready. So Anna, Don, you guys, I get it. Um, some great, some great conversation starters are just about the conference itself. What classes have you enjoyed? What classes have you attended? How are you enjoying the show so far? I'm going to say at a at a accounting conference with accountants and bookkeepers. What do yeah. you do? which is the normal way that most people start conversations. It's kind of awkward when everybody in the room does what you do. So it's still, it's still good to talk about that kind of stuff, but maybe shift it a little bit. How many years have you been in business? What do you like most about being in business, Matthew? Well, or maybe a different idea. If there's some cool tip or trick that you know about that maybe others don't, be ready to kind of share it with people, right? So uh, as an example, I, a while back, figured out this fancy link you can use for when you're dealing with payroll. If you don't do, if you don't download the reports all at once, you can go to the link and you can go into any company file, paste it in, and it will drop your whole packet of payroll reports all at once. So you don't have to do them one at a time. So that would be a weird little nuance thing or a different app you know, maybe something that you just want that's unique to share and can start a conversation. Um, you can also do other things like I always, uh, I would use ties. So I spent time learning how to do fancy tie knots that when, you know, you're there, it would be shaped like a heart or a uh, Merovingian knot where it's like two-sided, everything else. And that would be a conversation starter. Um, little unique things you can do of that nature. Actually, the very first time I met you, Matt, you talked about your tie knot for a good five minutes. <laughs> I still have another 10 I could talk about if you want. I mean, I could do a course real quick. Please, now. <laughs> Please, no. Please no. Um <laughs> All right. So talk about how to how to start conversations. Here's a, here's another tip. I have yet to meet anyone who, if you walked up to people who are having a conversation that would shoo you away. It's okay to jump in and say, hello, you're at a conference, you're there. It's all about connections. It's in the name, QB Connect. And so it's okay to walk up and just say hi, introduce yourself and ask one of those starter questions that, that we were talking about. It's a great way to get into a conversation. And I will tell you, I, I met my closest friend in the world at a conference. You can do that. 
and you will make new friends along the way. I promise. Um, is there a guarantee behind that promise? There is no guarantee behind that promise, but I am saying I have yet to see it fail. And that that I can absolutely assure you of. I have something to say. I met Deb Hall at our first Scaling New Heights and Work Conference BFFs. There you go. See what I mean? That's fantastic. I went to my first conference a year ago and now subcontract for an accounting firm in Vancouver because I met one of the partners at that conference. So beautiful. Can I, I met Richard the... at scaling last year? Yeah. Can I ask a somewhat of a selfish question? Um, one of the reasons I always started going and started doing videos of conferences was to try to motivate people to actually go to a conference if they've never been to one. Over the past couple of years, have you seen some of the video stuff uh, that we've done at conferences and did it motivate you possibly to actually attend your first conference? Not my first, but it's definitely motivated me. Yeah. You know, so, I definitely get the fear of missing out when I see some of your videos and I'm there. I'm usually just not in the video. Absolutely. The reason I went to my first was his motivation from Matthew. Thank, thank you, Lisa. I it's um it's always been a goal just to try to like I think it's important while you're at a conference. Another tip trick, right, is to be engaged with everybody. Um, yes, take pictures, yes, do video, but also take time to put those things away and just connect with your community. But be sure to share some of the fun stuff out to everybody else. Um, it, it just helps you expand your circle a bit further. So well, it's always a real thing, that's for sure. Yeah. Matthew, Janelle, I'm going to change the topic just slightly from apps on your phone to some other preparation. So I, I kind of call it the survival guide that I have. Take some snacks. Have mm -hmm. some snacks with you. If you have a special diet, have special diet food that you will enjoy. Um, we've all seen the folks who are, uh, they have a gluten-free diet and they're given salad. Um, you'll get sick of salad very quickly. So um, be sure to have something. I always carry protein bars. I also carry some of the, the drink powders that are electrolyte boosters because my energy runs down a lot at conferences because I'm going, going, going. Uh, and stay hydrated. Whatever you do, stay hydrated. That is the biggest thing I forget to do. I am drinking more coffee than water typically at a conference than I normally do. And I need more water. So and if you forget a water bottle, someone has, has someone has swag that's a water bottle. So just go find one of those. Yep. There you go. Yeah. That's a great Actually, Intuit's it's giving away water bottles this year. Ah, nice. Oh. That's Shannon, right. added, um, Shannon added a comment in the live, which actually is, it's a great point. Um, you got to be careful. Like never trust a conference to feed you. And what, you know, she means by that is uh, they tend to think that gluten-free and vegan are the same thing and it's not. Yeah. So if you really do have special dietary restrictions, just keep that in mind as Richard, you're saying, like, make sure you've got your own things planned. So never plan on just that specifically. So survival tip number two is always bring one more than you think you need, charging cables, extra battery packs, etc. There's always somebody in one of the session rooms fumbling for an electrical outlet so they can charge their phone or their iPad. Bring your own. Bring an extra cable. It happened to me in year five. I forgot to charge my phone that night. And I never forget to charge my phone. And I came downstairs ready for the day and my phone was at 3%. And I didn't have a cable with me. And I ran around and nobody had a cable and I, I finally uh, found somebody who had an extra. From that moment forward, I have always packed in my bag extra cables just in case somebody needs them. So I, I am a firm believer in carrying cables and battery packs. Also, survival tip number three, four, five, wherever we are, everybody is having a long day at the conferences. And, and let's just be honest, sometimes we get funky breath gum, mints, little packets of mouthwash, whatever, whatever it, you need to feel comfortable. I carry a toothbrush, mouthwash, gum, and mints in, in my bag. 
uh, because I I want to make sure that I'm not I'm not that person. So I always I always carry that kind of stuff. Um, and of course, we've already talked about shoes. Layers is the next thing. Conferences are notoriously hot or cold, and you never know which until you get in. And I will say the way it typically works is in the morning, the sessions are warmish, and then they get colder and colder and colder as the day goes on. So while you may not start with layers, you want to be able to add layers. So this kind of necessitates carrying some kind of bag. I'm going to say... Try not to weigh yourself down with excess nonsense in the bag. Carrying around a laptop is not always a great idea, especially for your back. Yep. Keep it as light as possible, but a backpack is a great place to have an extra little hoodie, an extra little light jacket of some kind, uh, socks, etc. cetera. Um, I'm going to throw one more in there. I always carry a leave. And blister and blister pads, because even if I've got worn in shoes, sometimes you're walking. Let's just say it's even proud of you for getting the 10,000 steps in at QB Connect last year. I had 10,000 steps in by 930. Mm -hmm. So uh, I had I had on average about 30,000 steps at the conference last year. I got blisters, even in my most comfortable shoes. So bring some blister pads, band-aids, whatever it takes so that your feet can be happy. Uh, Jane's got everybody covered. So if you're running out of energy, head over to the booth. They'll have the electrolyte packs to boost you up, which is awesome. Great call. Very, very smart. Um, and I just thought of a great little OCD competition thing. You know me and my numbers. So I'm thinking we all need to like track our steps and post pictures of how many steps we actually get each day at the conference. Like, you know, because Richard, you just kind of made it a competition by nine o'clock at 10,000. I think so. Did you guys feel that? But I felt were it. those were those steps him trying to find coffee or him trying to find a charging cable? Uh, for that is a great question. So was it conference or it was, was it? Oh, my God. At least a third of them were trying to find coffee. And, and Alicia makes it makes a great point. I think it's the second time she said it. And I feel horrible. But yeah, I, I ran into Alicia one morning. I don't even remember this, but she she I'm like, don't talk to me. <laughs> and I think that's all I must have said. Right. Uh, you said I'll talk to you after I get my coffee. Okay, at least I acknowledge that I needed coffee because I don't even talk to my husband until I get coffee. So, and that's walking around normal in our house. So, uh, yeah, we we learned that lesson a long time ago. Uh, that's that's rule number one to a happy happy marriage. All right, so there's been a real quick from the live. Alexis wrote suggested chapstick, and Shannon also suggested Benadryl. And actually, Benadryl, that's a great point. You never know; somebody may have an allergy to something. Um, whether it's for you or somebody else, having those are two great suggestions. I am glad somebody mentioned chapstick. I am never without it. Like I live with chapstick. I have one in my pocket. I have one in my purse. I have one in my wallet. Like everywhere I look, there is a chapstick. Leah is writing, I will pack masks. COVID is still a thing. Yes, agreed. I have come back. From the last co uh, last conference, two conferences I've been to, I've come back with COVID. We're going to be in Vegas, folks. Also, hand sanitizer. Because guess what? Everybody's touching those machines. If you're stepping down to the machines, if you're wandering around, there are thousands more people than just us in those casinos. So great point, Leah. Thank you, Leah. I say it wrong every time. I'm so sorry. Um, appreciate that. Um, okay, we've talked about layers. We've talked about shoes. It keeps coming up in the unofficial QuickBooks Connect Facebook group. What should I wear? What should I wear? Wear whatever you want to wear that makes you comfortable. I have seen people in suits, one. Um, I've seen people in dresses. I have seen people in yoga pants. Whatever makes you comfortable at this conference, it really is a come as you are conference. Um, but the key is comfort for the feet. So this this particular conference is spread out over three floors. 
And your first session could be on the first floor, second session could be on the third, all the way at the other end. You will do a lot of walking at this conference. So be prepared for that. Um, and there's a couple of elevators that you can find also. If, because uh, I'm going to say it, I'm totally, totally afraid of heights. And those glass escalators going from first floor to third floor, they freak me out. I'm, I hightail it to the elevator. Let's talk bathrooms. Okay. What would you like to say about the bathroom, Martha? Where are the secret ones? Exactly. In, in your room. Uh, yeah, I don't know that there are <laughs> secret ones, but um, there are on every floor. It's typically uh, after you get off the escalator, there are ones down near the end of the hall. Um, and if you look backwards, there's also, that might be the yes. secret ones. The, the one, backwards. if you go backwards and make a U-turn after you come off the um, escalators, there are two down that way. Fantastic. And a tip for airports, if for some reason you don't want to use all the public bathrooms, if you have access to the administrative floor, like here in Calgary, the second floor of the airport, is administrative and if you go up there and take yourself down the hallways you'll see bathrooms across from conference rooms that nobody knows exist and they're so clean because nobody uses them interesting okay good tip thank you good place to nap if you have a, a canceled flight too <laughs> so for the for mostly for the people on the east and uh above the mason dixon line and in canada Las Vegas is kind of warm. Bring a bathing suit. There are hot tubs and pools at pretty much all of the hotels. And if if you, you know, want a late night soak or a late night swim, there's plenty of opportunity for that. I always pack uh, when I go to Vegas, no matter what time of year, a bathing suit. And I have never not used it. So definitely bring something for uh, the pool is also something that I, I but see. Is there a resort fee or a usage charge to go in the pool? Because Vegas was the one destination that started bringing in resort fees and everybody in the hospitality industry got on board and it pisses a lot of people off. It's a great question. So I think and sometimes you can get it waived. Like if you're attending a conference and you know you're not going to use that stuff, you might be able to get them to take it off your bill. But it's so free money. There is a resort fee at the Aria. I'm not sure about the other hotels. I know that I I paid a resort fee at least uh, for my extra days, not during the not in the conference block though. So, um, and some of the hotels uh, um, will allow guests. So sometimes I go to a different hotel and just pay ten, twelve, twenty dollars to go and use their hot tub if the hotel pool is crowded or the hot tub is crowded because I'm a hot tub junkie. So Katrina, you um you had your hand raised there. Wanted to follow up to you. Just... Yeah, I was gonna say at the Aria, the pool is only open from nine to five. Oh. I was so bummed because being able to go down there at the end of the day would have been so wonderful. And that I is true for all silly. hotels in Vegas. <laughs> That's silly. That really is silly. I'm yeah. gonna be in a hot tub. Well, I don't. It said pool was nine to five. It could be yeah. time of year, also. I mean, we are talking November, y'all. That like, yep. And Vegas does get cold sometimes. So, Chilly, it's ch so the weather is going to be uh, at least the last time I checked, the weather should be gorgeous during the day and pretty chilly at night. So, uh, I don't have the the uh, uh, Celsius conversion, I'm so sorry, but the uh, nighttime should be somewhere uh, between 40 and 55. And if you take the Fahrenheit number, double it, and then add 30. Yeah. Or sorry, the Celsius, double it and add 30, or you subtract 30 and divide by two. I'm, I get that, and I have never been able to do this in my head. I'm sorry. We'll just... I, I can, because I have to. <laughs> I'll, let you, I'll let you do that. Um, but yeah, so thank you, Karen, though. I appreciate that. So there's there's the next one I would like to call out is getting to the hotel. So if you're arriving, I, I do want to call out forwardly has been very generous. And now 
File, for those of you um, that have uh, not heard of File, they have uh, decided to help with uh, the bus as well. And very excited about that. So they've been able to extend the days. And please forgive me, Matt, do you have the days and times off the top of your head? Uh, so Jane, you probably know them, of course, right off the top of your head, but it's Sunday and Monday. But Jane, you want to um, share here? Yes. So pickup is from Terminal 1 on Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, it is going from uh, 11 a.m. straight through till about 7 p.m. And then on Tuesday, or sorry, on Monday, it is going from 8 a.m. till 1 p.m. Jane, I'm going to ask a follow-on question because I've had three requests today from people who had changed their flights after they have um, already registered for the shuttle. Is there anything formal they need to do? No, 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 no. You can just re-register um, and it should update your information because it just, it'll just re-register on the form. Um, and yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, like the shuttle is first come first served. So we're going to try and run at least one an hour. And right now we're still under capacity for even the peak times. So, yep. you know, you might end up waiting a, a couple of minutes, but you know, you're not going to be paying any extra fees. And what we're really hoping to do is make it a bit of a party because obviously we'll have people waiting. It's all going to be the people from the conference. So uh, it should hopefully be a little fun, at least if there is a, you can a make new friends while you wait. Exactly. <laughs> That's what we're hoping for. Absolutely. So. I, if you make those friends and they have a return flight similar time as you, then you can buddy up and share your, your exactly. ride back. Exactly. That's a great idea. I love that. I'm actually going to add that. I, I, I am prepping the email. I'm going to send with more information on the shuttle and I'm going to add that to it. Thank you, Karen. That's a great idea. Perfect. And definitely, I'm going to I'm gonna throw this out there. Give Forwardly some social media love when you get on the bus, if you don't mind. Um, they're being very generous in providing the buses going all day and um, file as well. So, you know, snap a picture, say thanks, throw some love out on, on social media, and definitely um, try to like at least one of their social media pages for both companies, file and uh, Forwardly. Don't we but, have a comp, uh, Jen, isn't there a fancy yeah, competition going I will, on? To I will actually say, yeah, we are doing a giveaway during the conference. Um, we're announcing a, grise, a grand prize winner, uh, two two prize winners on Tuesday. So that's for a scan snap and for an, I, uh, an iPad. So if you are already registered for the shuttle, you get 25 extra entries to this giveaway just by like going into the, into the uh, giveaway. So you can find it on our website, or if you re-register, it'll come in the email. Uh, if you check the bottom of your registration email, if you signed up in the last three, four days, uh, there should be a code at the bottom and you can just go to our website and fill it in there. And then you get 25 extra chances to win. So <laughs> awesome. Yeah. That, and that's, 25 that's, extra. That's a scan snap and an iPad or a scan snap or an iPad? Two Sorry, different prizes. Two different, or prizes. two different prizes. Yeah. Grand prize winners. Yeah. So Alicia, there will be opportunities for you to do that by liking different things. We're going to, we're going to have that contest announced for forwardly very soon, but uh, liking social media pages, et cetera, will give you entries into the contest. So we don't want you to, we don't want you to feel left out there at all. Um, I want to take one minute and just talk about safety. Safety in Vegas is important. Um, Please, if you're at a bar uh, and you need to go to the restroom, uh, have somebody watch your drink that you trust. Um, definitely don't be walking on the streets at night by yourself. Find a buddy, have somebody. If you feel unsafe, get to a place that is a little more populated. Um, don't wanna make anybody feel unsafe, but I also just want everybody to, uh, to to know there there's some basic safety precautions that you should take when you're when you're in a city like Vegas and also it's a city to keep you know uh um there's lots of money flowing uh keep your wallets in your front pockets in your purse in your bag etc rather than in your unsecured back pocket just good common sense and i always forget it so that's why i'm saying it out loud is also to remind myself of that 
And if you're going to be in a crowd and you have a backpack with zippers, either wear it on your front or I don't know if it's so much inside out where you extend your straps so that when you put it on, the zippers are against your back and the, the piece that normally touches your back is what's sticking out. Interesting. I like that. Okay. So should we talk about sessions now, Matthew? Yeah. And then don't forget some time for parties. Um, cause oh I think- yeah, I forgot all about that. <laughs> Let's just skip right over that on the, on the agenda. So there's a ton of parties. Who's registered for parties already? Yeah. Okay. Who registered for all of them? <laughs> like there's only yeah. one that I haven't registered for. And that's because I'm throwing a, a round table get together at the same time. And I'm so sad that I'm missing it. It's the, it's the ignition pre-con and, um, they're not doing a great job of also saying they've got some, they've got a couple of co-sponsors on that ignition pre-con, uh, but Financial Sense is also throwing that. If you're a Financial Sense fan, um, ignition fan, not limited to just their customers, um, but definitely that is the big big party that is happening on Sunday the twelfth from seven to ten Pacific. Um, Right Tool for uh, folks that are Right Tool users is having a customer appreciation at the same time from six to eight. Uh, that is on uh, Sunday the twelfth as well. And then earlier in the day on Sunday, we've got the Anchor uh, get together, and that is um, from I think two thirty to four. Earthquake! Hold on, <laughs> sorry. Did are you having an earthquake? Yeah, we are back. Okay. All good, though. Make sure everything is safe. Yeah. So, Deb Hall, thank you for mentioning wait lists. All yeah, right. You did you just see he's in the midst of an earthquake? He is in the midst of an earthquake. Where does he live? He's in California? Yes, Ventura. It's Thanks. no big deal in California. They happen all the time. It, yeah. I, I grew up oh, yeah. in Victoria, and we used to get aftershocks from like Japan, and it was scary because it was always in the middle of the night. The last three that we've had here in Palm Springs have been in the middle of the night. But other than that, they they typically happen during the day. I'm sure he's okay. You all right, Matt? Oh, yeah. My stuff is fine. I, um, having experienced him before when it, it, you know, when it's decently rough, my bigger question is where was it? Just to check on family and such. So, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. But, um, yeah, I didn't feel anything. Richard didn't feel anything. That's a good sign. But it could have happened here and I wouldn't have known. I, I don't know. Um, I have good shock absorbers on my chair. Um, and stop swinging from the ceiling. I know, right? <laughs> so, all right. So Monday night is going to be the Melio Purple Party. And I think that's uh, happening from 7 to 10 Pacific. Um, and then, of course, on Tuesday night, we have the uh, we have Connect Fest sponsored by Intuit. If you went last year, it was enormous. I've never seen anything like it in my life. How many of you went to that last year? Was it crazy? Was it as crazy as, a, as it looked? Yeah, it was insane. It was nuts. It was cold. It was cold. Like We made it all the way to the floor upstairs to the balcony, and we watched down. It was oh, there you crowded go. Crowded downstairs. <laughs> I like that. I like that. And then... um. At uh, 9.30, which is uh, a couple of hours after, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Connect Fest goes, I think, from 6.30 to 9.30. And then at 9.30, there is the Keeper QuickBooks Connect after party. And that goes until 1 a.m. Their so, tagline is Keeper the Party Going, I think. Oh, that's that's clever. I like it. Yeah. Um, all right. So for those of you who have Monday morning sessions, you may want to cancel those if you plan on going to the Keeper Party on Tuesday night. Uh, for those, uh, I, I will never forget, we had a, a full house registered for our roundtable sessions last year. Only half the room came in. And I was like, where is everybody? And everybody goes, we're hungover from Connect Fest. So uh, yeah, that was a thing. Um, Speaking of roundtable sessions, Talk about those real quick. So what's going on with Connect with the roundtable sessions? How is that, um, like, what sessions are they and where are they, if you don't mind? 
So they are all on the third floor. We have actually, Roundtable Labs has eight sessions this year and they are being held. I can't remember the name of the uh, area, but it's the atrium area on the third floor. There's room for about 70 people in them and um, it is in the conference guide to register for. But there are four different topics that go over the uh, the, the Roundtable Labs um, core concepts. One is you're not the only one, which is just what it sounds like. It's designed uh, to really engage you on things that other people have solved and dealt with before you and passing on that knowledge and making sure that everybody gets there in a, in a faster and better way. We also have uh, a session called Ecom as You Are, which is about, can anybody guess? E-commerce. E exactly. And that's hosted by a couple of folks in the room here. Uh, it'll be hosted by Rachel Douchy, Katrina Way, and Martha Yasso. And uh, we also have Dream to Team, which is all about team building and employment and employees and interviews, anything dealing with team members. So that's um, that will be hosted by Alexis Sadler, Matthew Fulton, and myself. And we'll be running each of those two times. I left one out. Which one did I leave out? Can't remember off the top of my head. We had Ecom Dream to Construction. construction. <laughs> with apologies to Tanya Schulte. So Construction Junction uh, will be hosted by um, Dave Kirsting and Tanya Schulte and myself. It's all about everything you need to know about construction accounting. It's a very specialized scenario. Tanya Schulte is one of the best in the world. And if you've ever heard her talk about construction, you know exactly how passionate she is. So we're running each of these sessions twice. And um, I can't tell you what time off the top of my head without pulling up a couple of things, but they are in the QB Connect app and you can register for them at the site. Thank you, Matt, for calling those out. I appreciate that. Absolutely. So we, um, I've got the wheel. We'll be pulling that up pretty soon here because we've got a pretty big prize for this, this week, of course. We do. Um, before we get into that, though, I want to open up the floor. What other tips and tricks do you guys have um, to share with everybody? Anybody else want to add on to stuff we haven't talked about yet? Nobody. Okay. Then the next question would, of course, be um, awesome. So in the chat, we also have the link to all the parties, everything else, which is is great. Um are there any sessions specifically that you guys are excited to attend? And then after that, I'm going to open up because I can see Alicia already that Alicia's going <laughs> she's like, I don't want, I don't want um, anybody who is going to be teaching this year or up there uh, to promote your own sessions as well. Um, Alexis in the live is saying, don't miss out on connecting with people by rushing off to sessions. Completely agree. I absolutely agree with that as well. Sometimes it's okay to miss a session. Sometimes it's okay, especially if you need to recharge. Rachel, or if you're having a conversation with someone and it's a good conversation that you're probably maybe going to learn a little bit more out of than going to a session that you've already heard a zillion times because you've been going to conferences forever, then you just talk to that person. I, I couldn't agree more. Rachel, you've got your hand raised. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I was just going to say a tip. Um, make reservations now because a lot of restaurants won't be available then. There are a lot of restaurants there that don't take reservations. Like I know Javier's does not take reservations. It's walk-in only. And there's also a food court kind of thing. It's like an upscale food court. There's like a really cool pizza restaurant and other things like that that are um, no reservations required. But for most of the restaurants there, make them now. Some of them are completely sold out. I, I will. I'd like to add on to that. So I 
I went to Vegas probably every weekend. I was driving distance in my 20s. So that was a lot of years ago. But the hallmark of Vegas was you could get food anywhere, anytime, 495 buffets, all the things. Vegas has changed in terms of food. Between 2.30 and 5, pretty much nothing open. Uh, there there may be little cafes here and there, but uh, most of the big, bigger restaurants are going to be closed between 2.30 and 5. Um, but yeah, Rachel, what Rachel is saying is 100% correct. Get your reservations in, especially if you're wanting to do uh, dinners for parties larger than the norm, the norm being two to four. Good tip, Rachel. Thank you. So I can tell you who I I am excited about seeing. Um, I've got I've got <clears throat> one person that I absolutely will see anything that she talks about, and I can't wait to see her again this year. And it doesn't matter what the topic. I learned something just being in her aura, and that is Deb Kilsheimer. She's perhaps my favorite speaker of all time, and I highly suggest if you can get into any of her classes. There's a rush right now; everybody's trying to get into the classes, but. If, if they haven't sold out and you can get into the classes, get into one of Deb Kilsheimer's classes. The other one that I'm excited about seeing is the Sales Tax Sisters. They're, you know, that's, they're also my dear friends, but they are perhaps the most knowledgeable people I've ever met when it comes to the topic of sales tax. And they're entertaining. They're very entertaining. Anybody who can be entertaining about sales tax. Right? Right? <laughs> I mean, enough said. <laughs> so, Alicia, Let's to make it fun. Alicia, you're teaching this year. What last, you minute, last minute edition. I didn't no. think that I was teaching, um, but they're bringing back the hacks uh, riff off from last year. Yes. And what they're doing this year is last year, Deb Kilsheimer and Liz Scott and I won. And so this year they're pitting us against each other. Oh, how fun. <laughs> yeah. That sounds amazing. Is this all that's going to be crazy? It's going to be yeah. totally fun. And just so you know, Don Brolin is already doing research and like getting getting her ducks in a row ahead of time. So watch out because she's knowledgeable. Yeah, well, they're they're doing it a little differently, and I don't know exactly how it's going to play out. But um, Dawn sent us a list of fourteen questions and told us to pre-record our solutions for four of them. And oh, is so she have, is she doing her little bullhorn thing? She's not I, on. The... I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> she'll, she'll have it on. Do you, do you um, need some community? So I don't know exactly how the game is going to work out, but I think because of the tech difficulties we had last year i'm i'm not i i think they had us record them as a backup i'm not sure if we'll be demoing live or playing the recordings personally i hope we play the recordings because they're like crisp and crystal clear and no tech issues excellent do you, do you need the help of the community to get your answers together i mean we you should all we're all right here, here to help stack the deck for you is what we're saying like don i love you but sorry Alicia, we got you. We're going we're gonna to go for the win. Alicia, I'm going to say it. So so what they're going to do this year, though, is they're going to actually have, I don't know if it's from an app or how they're doing it, but instead of the roar of the crowd, they're actually like having people score us. So there's going to be like, like when we answer the question, whoever gives the best answer, you're going to rate our answers. Nice. So I shouldn't bring my decibel meter this time. I was going to bring a DB meter this year to like really be official about it. Uh, it would probably be nice to have on hand, but I think last year it was a little subjective for all of our tastes, and this year they don't they want to avoid that. There's a couple other speakers I want to I want to call out that I really I really have a great respect for. One is uh, Alnisha Jones, just knowledgeable beyond belief. I I got the opportunity to meet her at a conference a, a couple of years back, and every word that she spoke, I just I, I was hanging on it. And uh, she's kind of amazing. So I'm not sure of the name of the class, but definitely a class that I, I would attend if I wasn't teaching at the same time. Um, and then uh, Brittany Brown, one of the best people in the world when it comes to e-commerce. We also have Rachel Douchy, who's in Roundtable Ecom as you are, one of the best in the world. I say one of these days, we're going to have to get them to do a hack off. Oh no, Brittany <laughs> is like, on a whole nother level. <laughs> She's on a whole nother level. Well, 
you will be on that level. But I she's like many years down the road from me, but she's I follow everything she says and does. And her husband, Stephen, is really knowledgeable, too. And they they have built such a, an amazing firm and and specializing all the things. So, Matt, we have five minutes and we still have to spin the wheel. And I want to make sure that we give one more one more shout out. Forwardly has graciously hosted all five weeks of uh, this free for all where we've come in, had some fun with people, talked about all kinds of fun things, had a happy hour. And I just want to call that out as we close out the series to say it's really been a great experience. And we thank you. The whole community thanks you for the bus rides as well as file. But I want to thank you for sponsoring these sessions personally, Jane. I also want to thank you for motivating me and pushing me back into doing these weekly type sessions. You know, for quite some time, I was doing these weekly streams. And this uh, just reminded me exactly how much fun it is. So thank you for uh, allowing me to contribute and be a part of all this, too. Well, thanks. It's been so much fun. It's and I'm I'm really excited to get to uh, talk to everyone. I there's a few of you I think I met in at Scaling New Heights, but now I'm going to be able to meet so many more of you in just what eight days. Yeah, I can't wait. Only eight days. Yeah, eight days, nine days ish. Close soon. <laughs> yeah, Susan, you got your hand raised, and then I'm going to go for the spin of the wheel. I just want to thank Forwardly for the gift for each week yes absolutely thank you very much so speaking of gifts agreed especially to one. me too <laughs> so let's see who our winner this week shall be richard we're not on here we don't get a chance to win what the heck <laughs> stop with that oh, linda I'm... linda baker baker and what did Linda win, Matthew? She won $250 by you set up your Forwardly account. And once it's established, they'll actually send you $250 through your Forwardly account. It's a really easy account to set up. So congratulations. That's awesome. Oh, my I God. I really want to say congratulations. And also, I really appreciate the extra steps that Forwardly goes through to make sure that you are a real legitimate person, secure, really a business person, all of that. Like, I had to jump through a few hoops, but I think it's really a great, secure thing. Like, that alone made me change from how I'm going to be processing payments. Very nice. Excellent. Excellent testimonial. Thanks, Lisa. So, everybody... Thank you so much for joining us. I'd also real quickly like to do a an extra shout out to Richard and Emily. Uh, you guys have really helped me, especially extra this week. My <laughs> Normally I'm promoting the credit of this event, but um, don't ever get dental work done if you don't want it. So thank you for all the extra support you guys have been showing me this week and keeping me from talking. So um, I look forward to seeing everybody in just a, I guess, like we said, eight days. So. He meant he looks forwardly to seeing you in eight. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's good. Thank hey, you Matthew, guys. keep me posted on when they like release the next date so that I can get on the bandwagon for next year. I always find out after they've like sold out. Ah, we will do for the next conference. Yes, you bet. Thank you, sir. Have a wonderful time. We'll see you all later. We connect. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye, everybody. Stay safe, everyone. <laughs>